when the interstate closes in Montana, the back highways are still open. Find a big truck, follow it, and hope you make it to your destination. What you don't want to do is get ahead of yourself like that truck in front of me who's about to crash in the cops and he just barely missed the cops new truck I don't know where my flashers are there you go in a venture out to the back roads don't end up like that Honda CRV now where'd Orlando Pace go up there? All right, out here on the border of Idaho and Montana, heading up a pretty steep pass here in the 2022 Ford Maverick, two liter, all wheel drive, FX4 tow package. And I was gonna say, you can see that I'm having a pretty easy road here because it looks like I'm right behind the plow. And there he is. Now, what happens if I pass him here? Is the road gonna get worse? Pretty steep grade here. I-15 was closed between Idaho Falls and Dillon, Montana. So I headed west to Wisdom, Montana, and Salmon, Idaho, which is about five, six miles down the road here, I believe. And this all-wheel drive system on this Maverick is fantastic. Like, it's really hard to tell how steep of a grade this is, but I'm hauling. I'm doing 50 miles an hour. Nothing slipping at all. Traction control's on. No safety mode's on. But this vehicle is giving all the power to the front wheels unless it senses trouble or slippage and it sends power to the back. Uh, a Toyota truck, Tacoma for example, right now I'd be in four wheel drive, which is fine, but your gas mileage is going to go way, way, way down. And the vehicle just gets really bulky and clunky. Um, anyone that's owned a Toyota and has had it in four wheel drive and has tried to maneuver around in a small parking lot knows how the vehicle just lurches and tries to basically pull itself apart. Um, this all wheel drive system is great because it just drives in front wheel drive all the time and then if it needs the back tires it kicks in the only time i don't like it is when you know you're going to need it right away and you hit the gas the computer does hesitate for a split second to um to kick in the back tires um, going over the top of this mountain pass here so as we're heading down this really steep grade the one thing about this maverick that you know, coming from a manual transmission Tacoma, right now I'm doing 40. In my Tacoma, the second gear was really tall. I might even be in second gear, probably third gear, just coasting down this hill, and I wouldn't have to hit the brakes at all. And in this Maverick, you can't control the gears at all. On the gear lever, you have drive and then low. And let's see what happens if I click it into low. It does start to downshift, which is nice. So you don't have to ride the brakes the whole way down, which is fantastic. But you, you can't select what gears. And when you have it in L, I don't know if you can hear it, but it just continues to downshift to the next lowest gear when, when appropriate. Uh, but here we are down at 93, and hopefully, I'm not going to Missoula, I'm going to Salmon. Hopefully I can make it from there to Idaho Falls where my hotel is because I-15 is closed. That looks like a pretty cool ski resort, but I don't know what it 
it is. I'm going to look it up and I'll have it on the video. Welcome to Idaho is what I'm guessing that sign says. So yeah, that's what you need to do as someone who owns manual transmission is used to shifting gears, not being able to control the gears going down a mountain pass is frustrating or kind of odd. But as I go around this corner, I can hear the motor and transmission definitely downshift. Um, very steep grade here, Highway 93 up in uh, northern Idaho on the border of Montana. Central Idaho, I would call it. Now I'm accelerating. I kind of want the truck to upshift. It's not doing it, which is all right. There it goes. That's okay. I have the tire pressure way too high on these tires. So I'm not getting the greatest traction. I actually have a line of cars behind me, which for the first time in my life, I can say that I have a line of cars behind me. But I'm not that familiar with this vehicle and the tires are way too inflated. I don't like them that much anyway for a really bad snow like this. All right, now you can probably hear the truck a little bit. We're hovering around 3,000 RPM. It's kind of definitely not riding the brakes anymore. Yeah, the tow haul is the way to go. I'm just coasting, not hitting the brakes at all. Probably gonna tap them right here. Let off the brakes, engine brake. Actually hit the gas now. Doing 38 miles an hour. Not as steep right here. I punched the gas a little bit. It upshifted two gears. So you can obviously tell with some sort of gyro, the slope and the resistance. Now it feels me braking and it's downshifted twice going into this corner. Even though going around this corner, we're actually starting to go back uphill here. Um, that was pretty nice to see how that worked. A little bit of understeer. Like I said, I got too much air in these tires. Back downhill. Yeah, tow haul is the way to go downhill in the Ford Maverick in bad weather or in any weather really. So you don't have to ride the brakes. And I'm going to, we're getting pretty flat here switch back to normal 